Hey guys, Bass from uh, X Force again. Now today I've got a new M4. Uh, it's a full metal from Double Bell. It's the John Wick M4. Uh, I know a lot of you guys are sort of looking forward to this one. Uh, just having a closer look and see what it's all about. Anyway, let's go check it out. So I'm gonna take a closer look I'm going to try and bring it a bit closer to you guys. So it comes in this uh, nice brown box. And this one, this is exactly how they come, right? So they actually tie it down. Um, and basically, very basic what you get, right? It's not like a lot of the other ones. Uh, you get your blaster, you get your mag this tiny little pack of gels and you get your blacked uh, out uh, flash hider now the beauty with these flash hiders and this is not something that we even knew we just kind of you know we got it and voila so um i'm gonna bring it close so you guys can have a look all right so have a look at that that's your that's a metal flash uh flash hider all right, with the 14 mil thread, and inside, you can see that's got the grub screw there. Is your hopper? So metal flash hider with hopper built in. That is seriously cool, and they work very well. Surprisingly, they work very well. Uh, so uh, we're going to probably try and get some of these for uh, for you guys that want them for your other blasters. All right, so. Um, now one thing that I need to point out if you have a look so this is the John Wick M4 right as you can see no John Wick nothing on it no uh, logos no anything that's because there are some stickers that have been stuck on top of that to protect it all uh, so I'm going to pull one that we've already had out to show you guys and that's it there so um, that is basically full metal, obviously except the stock, grip, even the mag in this case, right? So I'm going to bring it a little bit closer to you guys. I want to really sort of show you guys the detail. All right. So BCM handguard. All right, there you go. Blacked out. Um... All the Terran Tactical and on this side here all right, you've got it up here and on the receiver the lower bit um, I think that was it all right so that's basically it now so cool thing is um, you don't have to go and sit there and try and build it yourself this receiver is one thing that I really do like. Um, it's not your standard rounded off uh, V2 receiver. It's got these really nice straight lines. Um, it's obviously the way it's meant to look. So I know some of these, some of the guys have done ones out of like a J9, not a J9, but just a metal uh, V2 receiver. They're different. So this is their proper receiver from the John Wick uh, rifle. You got your BCM uh, key mod uh, handguard. Uh, I prefer M lock, but that's what it is. But they're quite nice. It's uh, very comfortable when you hold it. So you don't have all the picatinnies down here. You still got these attached ones here and the top rail. So you still got plenty of picatinnies and you can attach plenty here. But it's nice and comfy to hold. The grip, as you can see, is also just that little bit different. Um, it's a bit more chunkier, so that's up to you whether you like chunkier, you like it a bit skinnier. Um, metal mag. Now, I know some guys love the metal mags. I'm sort of half half. The one thing with metal mags you got to remember is that you need to drain your gels properly you need to sort of uh, 
probably add some WD-40 in there or something just to keep it from rusting. They rust quite quick if you don't take care of them. Uh, we had heaps of guys, oh, my mag's all rusted out, blah, blah, blah. You need to take care of it. You're putting in gels with water in the metal mag. So it's not like a plastic one. Plastic ones have their benefits, but you know, some people always want metal. Anyway, so with metal stuff, just needs that little bit more uh, attention. All right, so, um, yeah, metal buffer tube, um, adjustable stock, and the battery, uh, it's a, you kind of need to pull that down. And voila, there's your battery. That comes with a mini Tamiya plug. Okay. So it's a bit of a prick to get to, but it's dual. <laughs> it's all dual. You just got to put a bit of effort into it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. All right. So, um, yeah, BCM I think is a 12 inch by looking at it. No, I could be wrong. Um, the handguard, flip up iron sights, very nice touch. All right, these ones here is adjustable. Uh, if you can get all, if you really want to get down to business, uh, like I said, the metal flash hider with the built in um, hopper works great. Uh, this one's, I can tell you right now, this one's not been adjusted. This one's I don't know where that is at. So we haven't adjusted that one, all right? So don't expect me shooting super straight. Um, yep, other than that, bolt release, right? So that there, that's cool. Um, and yeah, no, I know some people I think were asking about ambidextrous mag, but no. And fire select switch, no. All right, so no ambidextrous. It's just a bolt catch, uh, which is a cool little addition if uh, you're into the little extras and all that cool shit. All right, look, for me, it's all about, um, I guess, the look, the feel, and how it shoots. All right, so. If it feels good, if it looks good, and if it shoots great, you know, I don't really care too much about all those little, you know, little features. That's cool. And if it's got it, awesome. If it doesn't, uh, I mean, it could be like the coolest, craziest looking blaster. You know, if it shoots like shit, it don't really matter. I mean, some guys are going to be there collecting it, and I do collect some. Uh, but. At the end of the day, if you're on a blast that's going to shoot well and you're going to take it out, uh, that's, I think, very important. Oh, the other thing it's got, like it's your, uh, I should have mentioned the outer barrel stabilizers already in there. Uh, so yeah, full metal outer, full metal inner, um, metal gearbox, metal gears, uh, yeah, and very nice shooting blast. All right, so let's run a couple of rounds through it. I'm gonna show you guys uh, what it's made of and why you guys want to buy one of these because it shoots so damn well. Um, and so, all right, I think. I think we've got a pretty good all right let's have a look if we can why is my uh all right so 340 333 325 335 338 335 317 39 and 324 i would say really about 330 um 330 guys that's straight out of the box. No, um, 
no up no upgrades, nothing modified. That is just pretty bloody brilliant, I reckon. Um, solid, like I said, all metal. Uh, All metal. If you want a plastic, plastic, that's it. So stock grip, which really you don't want a metal grip, guarantee it. Uh, especially not in Queensland. All right. So 330, 325 out of the box. Metal mag, metal gearbox, metal receiver, metal handguard. Uh, that's the John Wick, the double bell John Wick M4. Uh, pretty sweet blaster. All right, so thank you guys for watching. I hope that sort of uh, answers most of your questions. If anything else, uh, shoot me uh, another uh, uh, message or whatever. The other thing I should point out, it takes Gen 8, um, LDT, Kublai, mags uh, i've even tested it with a with an std drum mag and it worked um i believe yep and so that's kind of covers most of your basics uh basic mags so if you don't have an extra mag for this at home already uh, i don't know you where you've been all right so thanks for watching guys um Give us a like, uh, comment, and yeah, John Weekend 4. Thank you. Take care.